looking at you guys trying weird beers. Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're getting you guys trying weird beers. And today, I can tap into your Wi-Fi using only my blood. That's true, because he had his second inoculation, so everybody knows that they put electronics and chips in, in, in the vaccine. Two for two, baby. I'm at 10 Gs. Ooh. So, yeah, no, he, I mean, he's a hot spot. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies. Soak it in what you can. Anywho. We uh, last last few uh, last few videos we we were doing this guessing thing where we would try the beers blind and guess as to what we were drinking, but because we've got a backlog of beer in the fridge, I'm going how do we how do we extricate ourselves from this dilemma? So the way we extricate ourselves from this dilemma is we drink more beer, but we tend to jabber and run on long, so we're gonna have to drink these beers fast. Just saying. Oh, good. Yeah. One of our regular viewers... I'm not telling you about OnlyFans. I thought it was called OnlyFans. Yes. So anyways. Anyway. So one of our regular viewers, uh, Steve... Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. Um, he, well, he recommended that we try this hot chocolate stout out of Australia. Now, we tried to, we tried to find it. We even contacted the brewer in Australia... And well, the producer did, and they said that they, they you know, at this time they don't, uh, they don't export uh, beers to this side of the pond. Again, sorry, Steve. Um, so we've got three beers that we're going to try today. Well, turn them around so you can see what we're drinking. We don't know what we're drinking, but there they are. But before before we dive right in, um, palate cleanser. Palate cleanser time. So we have a, a new palate cleanser this week. It's a Trombo Blanco tequila. It's a it's a Blanco from uh, it's 100 percent agave. So it's the real deal. I mean, it's made in Mexico, but it's bottled in Toronto. Go figure. Toronto. Yeah, who who would figure that a button down city like that would want to have its own tequila? So here we go. In for a penny, in for a polyhedron. <laughs> oh, that sneaks up on you, man. Not the best Blanco I've had. Not the worst. Like, it goes down smooth. But then it comes back up and it's like, the fuck did you say? That's it. No, it, it, it's spoiling for a fight. This is, is what this tequila is doing. Not much of an aftertaste, which is kind of nice for a palate cleanser, for once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here we go. We got three beers. Which one do you want to go with first? One of the tall ones or the short one? Uh, let's start. Ow, here. Okay, so what we have here is uh, from Gateway City Brewery, Long Beaches, California Common with maple syrup. Uh -uh. Now I love maple syrup. And I love beer. I don't know about the two together. Yeah, it's a combination that leaves me a little vexed. Is this like a wood... Uh, the, the, the drawing is pretty weird. It's like... Uh, is that a woodpecker? Like a human uh, human surfer with a woodpecker's head? I think it's a cardinal. Cardinal? Yeah. Surfing towards a maple tree that's being tapped? Yeah. Wow, this is trippy. Anyway, it contains barley rye wheat... Uh, malted, uh, malted. Oh, and there is maple syrup in it. Okay, so it's not just like, oh, we try to replicate the taste of maple syrup. No, there's dead ass maple syrup in it. Yeah, forty IBU. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's of concern. Five point three mm. alcohol by volume. That's not too bad. If you're Canadian, eh? Let's give this a whirl and see what it looks like. I like the look of it. It looks thick. That that that's clean. I like that a lot. Like I I'm concerned about the taste, but visually that's an amazing beer. Yeah. Like put that in your happy meal. Oops. Let's see what the smellometer tells us. It doesn't smell like beer, it smells like breakfast. <laughs> like like it's, it's it smells like that you put eggo waffles into the toaster. <laughs> so I mean there are worse things for a beer to smell like, trust us. That's okay. Well, I'm not really 
getting any distinct smells. Well, I guess we should just try it. All right. That's okay. I like it. That's okay. I thought it would be a lot sweeter. So did I. I thought the... I'm, I'm actually really glad that it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Sweetness is there. The maple is there, but it's not... Yeah. It's not powerful. It's not in your face. It's really... It's really subtle. Yeah, it doesn't clag up the beer at all. Yep. That's... And uh, it's got that barley, yeasty, malty kind of flavor that I like. It's actually pretty decently balanced. I don't think this would be, be like my go-to, but if someone was like, hey, do you want a long speech? All right. I like it. I like this uh, quite a bit. My kind of beer. It's just beer with some mapley, syrupy, tasty thing. Simple yet well executed. And it still looks really nice. Yep. It's a, it's a nice looking beer. I'm digging it. Ah, that was good. That was mighty fine. Yeah. I oh, am, I just uh, I just I realized am. something. What? Three beers means three palate cleansers. Oh, God. We're going to get legless. <laughs> I was watching a video from the, uh, from the Tri Channel. Okay. Yeah, it's a day they're located out in Ireland. It's uh, videos of Irish people trying different things. Like they'll, they'll try different beers from different uh, places, food from different places. And uh, you know, by and large, they're, they're, they're pretty entertaining. They, the, the last video uh, that I saw, they tried uh, Irish IPAs. Irish IPA. Yeah, and they were, and they were quite no, no, oh yeah, this is okay. No, they're very nonchalant, and it's like, is there something different about Irish IPAs? The Irish will tell you there's something a lot different about all of their beers. Well, so, that's true. Like, but I mean, but none of them said, oh man, that's really bitter. Or, oh, uh, I don't know about that. They were quite uh, sanguine about it, and I'm going, what the fuck, man? Unless. The Irish have these crazy palates where they can handle this kind of stuff. I just find what well, IPAs unpleasantly bitter. I don't know. So I, I, I mean, I would like to try these Irish IPAs and taste them for myself to see if they really taste like IPAs. Before we move on to our next beer, palate cleanser time. Oh boy! Oh boy! Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Second one didn't stick with you as long. Oof. Never mind. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was fierce. Speaking of fierce, Elora Australis, which I'm pretty sure is like a star sky thing. It's an IPA. Fuck. With Nelson, Sauvain, and Galaxy, which I'm... Those are hops. Those are the hops. It's a strong beer. It's, you can tell because it says so. 6.1% alcohol by volume, and that's it. Uh, it pairs well with koalas, with the Sydney Opera House, with kangaroos, and <laughs> rockets. Well, there you know. There you go. And, now, uh... and it's, uh, I'm, I'm not kidding. It actually has those on the label. Opera beer, opera beer. Uh, it says, uh, drink fresh, don't age. Best served down under, mate. Don't be a dummy. Please recycle. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah. I mean, Don't be chastising this. Yeah. Of course I'm going to recycle. It's what we live for. Yeah. And it says on the bottom, Crikey, packaged on April 15th. Ruh-roh. 2021. It says, drink fresh, don't age. Oh, sorry, it's aged. Handcrafted in, in Elora, where two rivers wind, nature abounds, and... Art flourishes. We hope you enjoyed drinking this IPA as much as we enjoyed making it. I unfortunately doubt that. Oh, well, Elora is a town in Ontario. This is it's from Elora Brewing Company. Elora Gorge is a sort of a touristy place. So Elora is a touristy place. Oh, oh then then how come it sounds so not uh, touristy? Australian. I, I guess they're I guess they're I guess they're putting on airs. The uh, the uh, the graphics. I mean, you know, when you don't have a lot of money, it's like, let's go simple. So you got a bunch of colored wavy uh, I mean, clouds. Hey, hey, in art, less is more. 
But you know what my philosophy is? More is more and more is better. Don't deny me any riches. I want it all, man. Why does that look green? <laughs> I don't know if it looks green, but... It looks dirty. It looks unfiltered. Oh, that's so unpleasant looking. Welcome to the swamp. Oh, this smells like an IPA. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. They didn't say, oh, there's citrus or this or that. And they just said, oh, no, this is an IPA straight up through and through. All I'm smelling is IPA. With each inhale, my soul dies just a little bit more. But well, I guess we should taste it. Yeah, let's go for it. That tastes warm. It's cold. It's just straight out of the fridge. I know, but it tastes warm. How's that possible? <clears throat> What do you guys do? What form of mad alchemy is this? I can't. That's that's not nice. The the hoppiness is not competing with any other flavors. Nope, because there are no other flavors. It's just straight up. Oh, we got some hops for you. There's a combination of hops, right? There's a. Uh, yeah. Nelson, is it Nelson Sauvain or just, yeah, it's Nelson Sauvain. And Galaxy, yeah. And Galaxy. I don't know who Nelson Sauvain is that he earned himself a, you know, got to be named after a hop. Maybe because this is what he'd smell like because he didn't fucking shower for like <laughs> 48 days. Oh, Nelson, you dirty bird. That tastes like a yeah, dog in a sock. And there's, there's, you know, there's uh Oh, are there bits at the bottom? Well, it looks like it. It looks like there's crap. Ow. Uh, but, I mean, based on the taste, if these guys were to filter a beer, it would be through a gym sock. It's like, oh, more flavor. No. Not for you? That is so not for I, me, man. You know what? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I would not I would not try this again. I'm beginning to think I don't like IPAs. You reckon? As a rule. Even the ones that uh, go well with, like, you know, koalas and kangaroos and those just thing at the end. Is that a joint? It's a joint or a rocket or a dildo? I don't know. We'll let your imagination take care of the rest. If you want to tell us what that symbol is, <laughs> it right in the comments. That's it. Leave a leave a comment. Uh, but don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, what are you doing? Hit the bell so you get notices of when we put up stuff. And we're pretty regular. You know, it's like... Yeah, my my likes and intelligence make sure of that. No, we have now. Now we're on our third shot. I was, I was kind of hoping you would have forgot about that. Mind like a mouse trap. Oh, goodness gracious. Pray for us. Oh. Oh. Number three didn't feel so good. Uh, don't go into the light. Don't walk towards the light. Oh, man, that one hurts. Okay. All right, grand finale. Is Market Brewing. I think we've had, yeah, I don't know, I think we've had from Market Brewing before. Market Brewing Company. Yeah. This is Sprang Botanical Ale. Whatever the fuck that means. Dry hopped with Zytho hops, elderflower, orange peel, and coriander seed. Oh boy, strap in for this one. Fresh from the market, it says. IBU of 35, ABV of 5.2. Is it? Is it fresh from the market? Well, they claim. I don't know. Uh, would you would you call this bear a liar? There's a bear on the, on the, on the can, by the way. The only bear I, I can ever call a liar is Paddington. Paddington bear was a liar? No, that's what I'm saying. That's the most straightforward and honest earth sign you'll ever meet. <laughs> Who, Paddington? Yeah. Oh. He's a, oh, you know who's a really disreputable bear? Yogi. And what's his relationship with Boo Boo? That's unhealthy. That's weird. What's that all about? I always thought it was like uh, like, like uh, Master and Apprentice. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking more Master and Slave, but... <laughs> I just I just ruined Yogi Bear for a whole 
generations of people. Hanna Barbera, if you'd like to leave a comment. <laughs> That's it. Hanna, Hanna Barbera, please, you know, elucidate, clarify if I'm wrong. <laughs> That the, 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 the Yogi, uh, Yogi Bear, uh, Boo Boo Bear uh, relationship was not uh, fraught with weirdness. Oh, kind of looks like an orange peel. Looking like an orange peel. No, thank God there's no raspberry in this. She wore a raspberry beret. Her head was sticky and she was being chased by bees. <laughs> Hey, I'm not sure if I lost a plot there or you did. <laughs> I just, if you're wearing a, ra a beret made of raspberries, you're going to attract all sorts of uh, attention. You, you know, Australia and. and uh, from, from stingy, stingy bugs. Australia and New Zealand have uh, magpie seasons. Magpie, magpie seasons? Yeah, apparently uh, there's a certain time of the year where magpies get really, like, like overly protective of their nests and, and their, their eggs and stuff. And so uh, they get really aggressive. W what cities do to counteract that is that uh, they, they have a community where uh, essentially like like bicycle helmets with like spikes on them <laughs> to to ward off magpies from attacking their heads. Oh my god, that's amazing. Now I want magpie season. I want magpies season here. I don't think you do. No, because I'm... That, that was not the moral of the story. <laughs> you don't get to wear these cool spiked helmets? Oh my god, that's so awesome. Yeah. Fuck, they're so lucky down under. The fact that everything wants to kill them, and they have to come up with these novel ways to stay alive. Amazing. Okay, so, let's uh, get to this beer. Is this, this... What does this smell like? Is this an IPA? What the... Are no, we... it's it's botanical. So oh, it's oh, it's botanical. I don't know what that means. It means it just smells sweaty. Elderflower, orange peel, coriander. Oh, okay, I, don't know. I guess what does the elderflower give it the botanical element? I think it's the coriander that we're smelling. Well, yeah, because I have no idea what the fuck elderflower smells like or tastes like. I'm smelling. I'm smelling some stuff. I think I'm smelling. What, what, this, there's an orange peel in this. They said orange peel, coriander, elderflower. Who knew that orange and coriander would go together? Well, we don't know yet. That's true. Let's find out. Or orange peel and coriander do not go together. Keep coriander. It's, it's, keep, keep coriander out of your orange chicken, please. <laughs> it's interesting. I'll give it that. But the the back end tastes like eraser. Like something that, that, that like like wipes stuff off the page or someone that goes in a really fast car? An eraser, not a racer. Okay. So yeah, you know the the, the, the pink gummy, the pink thing that, uh, you know. Yeah. You know in, in the UK that they call those rubbers? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it's made things very confusing for people abroad. Would you pass me a rubber, please? That's a rather personal thing. Do you take extra large? <laughs> Sorry, roll out. You're going to have to garbage bag it. <laughs> I'm just picturing someone. Just walking. Wrapping their wee willy winky in a garbage bag? Just someone walking in, in, in with their, their, their wife and, the, and there's just a Ziploc bag. <laughs> there you go, honey. I'm in the mood for loving. There's nothing more arousing than, than the slide lock... <laughs> <laughs> it's containers. That's it. Uh, be careful not to pinch yourself. <laughs> oh. oh, man, we went down a path. Yeah, it was to distract us from this not good tasting beer. Well, I don't mind it. It's it it's too strong. Too strong. It doesn't taste very balanced. It's like it smells of coriander. It tastes of coriander. And coriander needs to be mixed in. Okay, uh, market the room company. Go easy on the fucking coriander, will ya? Yes, please. For his sake. For my sake. Look at that. Yeah. Well, wait. I would put this one at the yeah. end. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Taking the rainbow beer. To Asgard and Valhalla. Well, you got the Rainbow Bridge, right? Yeah. You got the Rainbow Beer. The Bifrost. 
which was actually well realized in the Thor movies, if mm-hmm. I may say. I liked it actually. Yeah. That, that was a really cool rendition of it. Instead of it just being like literally Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably what a lot of people expected. I don't know what the music is. That's <laughs> obvious. Well, pardon me, Ma, for not being a gaming nerd. We're all crazy here. We're all out of control. We're all jumbled. We're all jumbled. It's all a mumbly jumbly. Uh... Well, that's what happens when you're like, oh, we should have three beers and three palate cleansers. Yeah, we, uh, it's kind of a little bit out of control. This, this, uh, just a wee this bit. is a folly of your creation. I feel shame. <laughs> no, you don't. I'll, sp- I'll spend two minutes in the box. Okay, so we've got beers all over the place. We're crazy with beers. All right. Blah, 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 blah. So, uh, here, let's go Let's go back in the original order. Okay. Long Beach, California, common with maple syrup. I liked it, man. That, that was a thumbs up for me. It's... Yep. It like I said at the start, it wouldn't be my go-to, but it was nice. It was, I would go to it. I it would was well balanced. It. I would have it, it again. Not too sweet, which was a big up for me. Elora Australis. No. 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 Sorry, it was too IPA-ish. Yep. Like there wasn't enough of anything else to balance that IPA bitterness, that, that you know that would make it palatable. Yep. I don't understand how people find the bitter IPA thing palatable. If you I do, think, though, look for it. Yeah, no, I'll be go, go try it because yeah. weirdo. I think on his own, yeah, if you're crazy, if you've been hit in the head with a shovel or something, like I was a few videos back. But, you know, if, yeah, if you like IPAs, I'm pretty sure this is a good IPA. I'm not fond of pure IPAs, so. And finally, from Market Brewing Company, Sprang. Sprang. Uh, no. I liked it. It was too Korean. The more I drank it, the more I liked it. Like, I love curry. I didn't like that. What? Oh, of the coriander. Yeah. Man, you're really you're really obsessed with this coriander. Do you really taste it that much? I, I really did. The coriander is strong in this one, Obi-Wan. What the fuck is a botanical? Is it like, oh, uh, with flowers? Yeah, elderflower. Oh. There you go. You know, more mystery solved. Uh. We're solving mysteries left and right. We're like the Scooby Gang. We're we're driving in our little mystery machine, yeah. solving beer mysteries, just without Scrappy Doo. Because yeah. fuck oh, him, fuck Scrappy Doo. One of the most annoying characters in cartoons. Can you believe that they tried to make uh, Scrappy Doo uh, the, the villain in movies like two to three times? <laughs> <laughs> it never worked. Because well, it, which is odd because everybody hates fucking Scrappy Doo. Yeah, but like like every time it was revealed, I hate his name. Like, every single time it was revealed, oh, like, big plot twist, Scrappy-Doo is the villain. It's like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> you know, like, like where's where's old farmhand Brent or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you people making Scooby-Doo movies, you gotta work harder. Also, so, bring, bring back the original Shaggy. That man is awesome. He, oh, Matthew Lillard. Yeah, Matt Lillard. Yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt Lillard. Lillard is an amazing Shaggy. He's an amazing Shaggy. He's just a great actor. Yeah, he's, he's a really cool guy, actually. I've seen him do do a couple things online. Oh, yeah? He's fucking fantastic. Yeah, he's he's a great actor. He should be Shaggy, so fuck the, this nonsense. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting so indignant. Uh, it's because we've had three beers and three <laughs> three <palate> cleansers. <laughs> that could be it. How, how many more beers would you need until you actually tag Matthew Lillard? <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm tagging Matthew Lillard. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm, t- I'm tagging you, Matthew Lillard, because we love you. Yep. We should probably wrap this up so we don't take more of uh, Matthew Lillard's time. Yeah, yeah. We apologize, Matt. These are our beers. You know how we feel about them. Yep. So yeah, that's it, Jazz Hands. I mean, this is my son's We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers.